Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some horns basketball plays that you can run on your team if your team is a bit taller than the rest of the teams in your league or in your age bracket. Now, these are great also to run if you are playing against man-to-man -man and zone defenses. So I'm going to be giving you examples against both. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so this first play is going to be against a man-to-man -man defense. And then from there, what we're going to be having is trying to isolate some of the tall players on the team down in the low post or in the mid post. So first, what we're going to be having is player five setting a screen down for player three. Player three is going to be popping up roughly to the free throw line extended. And we're also going to be having, at the same time, player one passing to player three. And we're going to be having player one setting a screen down for player four. Player three is going to dribble out towards that side. He could have taken that shot if he was wide open. It is a possibility. And then we're going to be having player four come off of that screen. And we're going to be having player five posting up his man down in the low block. Player four is going to come off. That's going to be a pass to player four. And player four red, the defender, he could either get caught up on player one or on player three. And player four is going to come out. He can take that shot or he can pass down to player five. And player five can take his man one on one. Now... What we're also going to be having is player two. He's going to be coming up and setting a screen for player one. Player one is going to be popping out towards this corner. The reason why we're doing this is so that once everyone clears out, player five, he can post up his man. And if his man isn't giving up any room, he can kick it out far side to player one for that three-point shot. Or player one could have been driving down at the same time, coming off of that screen and cutting down this way. And that could have been just a quick pass to player one. Okay, so against a 2-3 zone defense, we're most likely going to be having the, the double team right up top. Now, from here, what we're going to be having is player 4. He, she, he or she is going to be screening for player 1. Player 1 is going to come off that screen, and he's going to start driving down and trying to beat that opening gap between 5 and 3. Player 5 is then going to be cutting down. We'll even can have player 3 setting a screen on player 4, depending on where he is for player five to cut down and if player five red was to pop up to defend player one then we now have player five down low for that easy layup the other option is if player five didn't pop up and player three popped up instead we now have player two open for a three-point shot over here or we could have player two cutting towards the basket and player one can pass him the ball for that layup we would then have player 5 here and player 3 here both ready for that rebound, whether player 1 or player 2 misses that shot. Okay, so for a 2-1-2, two, two, we're going to have player 1 playing the middle uh, just like Korea does. You could also have player 5 be playing the middle like how we used to. Uh, it's up to you, basically. Um, but we're going to run player 1 just because it's pretty popular uh, throughout the world. So player 1 is going to be popping up on player 1 blue. What we're going to be having now is player 2, he is going to go and screen for player 4. And player 4 is going to be popping out towards that right wing now player three is also going to be doing the same player five is going to be popping out and player one has a decision to go for one of those two players let's say he goes for player four what we're going to be having is player one cutting down towards this low corner and we're going to be having now player three popping out we're going to be having player one drop down player five moving out we could even have player one pop out to guard player two as well player four is going to be covering the middle and player two is going to be covering the reverse pass. Now in this play what we're going to be having is player two setting up a screen not for player four however we're going to be having a screen being set up for player five for player one technically. Player one is going to use that screen and he's going to be popping up towards the top of the key. We're now going to be doing the reverse where player three gets that ball and we're going to be having that's going to be having player four pop out and with the whole reversal of the defense, we're going to be having player five cutting back door on player four. And this should be a pass down to player five for that layup. So the whole idea behind this is to set up 
an offense that looks like a triangle type offense on that right side, swing it back around so that now we have player five cutting back door off of, off of a screen from player two. So this last play I'm going to show you is against a man-to-man -man defense, and this is a great play to run to isolate your player five. What we're going to be having here is player three. He is going to be running up and setting a double screen with player four. Player one is going to use that double screen, and we're going to be having player two. He is then going to be running up and setting a screen on player five. Depending on where player five is, that's going to be a screen there, there, it could be down lower, whatever, wherever he may be, this is going to be a screen for player five. Player one is going to come off that screen, player five is going to come off that screen. He can either go to the low post or the, or the wing, or even the three-point line, it's up to him, but personally I would prefer him in the low post and have player one pass him the ball for that layup. Now if he's covered, player one can still take that shot himself. If he takes that shot, player four needs to crash the boards and so that we would have play three players around the net to get that offensive rebound. I'm all about getting three players for that offensive rebound. I hope that these basketball plays help your team win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you guys again to uh, later on today for the second video of the day.